So let me start with interior lighting. Okay, for this car, I can actually choose the different colors in the rear as well as the front to alter my ambient lighting. Okay, so right now we are actually in this color. Let's just say you want something more refreshing. Yeah, you can actually just push it over to maybe blue. Okay, or maybe something even like for example green, something that's even more refreshing. But maybe if let's say you are in a, a more romantic mood, you can select the purple. Okay, so the second one will be our accent lighting. Right now it's switched on. I can actually just switch it off. Switch it on and select the brightness over here. What it does, it actually add to the environment in the car to give it a more lounge feeling. So let me start on the sun protection. Okay, over here I can adjust various functions. Like for example, I can open up the sun sunroof or the rear blind. If not, I can just open everything off with just this button. So what we can do here, we can actually adjust the seating position of each individual seats from our touch command. Right now, I'm actually controlling my own seat. All right, I can even control the front passenger. So for example, if let's say you want to have a more chauffeur experience, you can actually push the front seat away. Like for example, I can actually adjust the seat this way and I can also move the headrest as I wish. Okay. For the rear passenger, only for the passenger seats, I can actually control the massage function. So let me just get it to full strength and from here, I can actually choose different massage functions. For example, from now, back massage and I want a full body exercise. It will actually show me all the various exercises that will be done to our body. Climate comfort is for our climate control for the rear. So I can actually in adjust each individual temperature for the passenger. I can control the fan speed and I can even control the air conditioning for the seat. For example, seat ventilation. This will be the cold air through our seats. I can even choose how biased I want it to be. Do I want it more on the seats or more on the back itself? Okay, and this is for the right side. Alternatively, I can switch on the seat heating and likewise, I can choose between the seat itself or the backrest. Next up, I have the ionizer. So what it does is it actually purifies the air in the car. Can I switch it off or switch it on? And also finally, the ambient air package. So from here, I can choose the level of dispersion as well as what kind of sense do I want to be dispersed. Okay, next up, I can control my media. For example, I can select my radio stations as such. I can control the volume. I can mute it. And going back to the menu, I can actually select what kind of media I want. For example, I can use the AM, I can use music collection, which is stored in the car's hard disk. Or I can load my CD or DVD. Alternatively, when the interfaces are actually connected, you can control things like your Bluetooth, your screencast, USB, snap-in and your uh, alternate USB. Under driving information, I can access certain information. Like for example, this is my destination, where I'm currently at, my current speed, as well as the consumption. In the next page, you can actually access the compass view of the car.